Hey there, I'm Caitlin O'Shaughnessy, an immigration attorney with Marie Osorio. And today I want to talk to you about sponsoring your mom or your dad for a green card. Okay, so um, I've previously done a video on sponsoring your spouse. And if you remember, either citizens or permanent residents can sponsor a spouse. However, only U.S. citizens over the age of 21 can sponsor their parent for a green card. So one thing to note is that if the, we're going to say child. So even though the child at this point is over 21, I'm just going to refer to this person as the child throughout this conversation. Okay. So if the child got his or her green card through something called special immigrant juvenile status, then the child cannot sponsor their parent, even if the parent that they want to sponsor was not the abusive or neglectful parent. However, if the child got their citizenship some other way, like through birth in the United States or um, sponsorship through another parent or something like that, then fine, you can sponsor your own parent. So this process can become complicated and so for this reason i really recommend that if you're if you're looking into this that you speak with a lawyer before starting the process so that you can line up all of the steps before you begin because generally speaking this process is two steps step one is filing the family-based petition and step two is actually getting your green card okay so step one is for all intents and purposes, the easy part of things, right? So that's when you're, when the child files the I-130 for his, his or her parent. And so with that form, you need to prove the parent-child relationship. Usually um, for moms, especially a birth certificate with the mom's name and the kid's name on it is enough. For dads, usually the birth certificate with the dad's name and the dad's marriage certificate to the mom is enough. Um, if the dad's name is not on the birth certificate or if the parents weren't married, then you might need, you probably will need to provide some additional evidence of that parent child relationship. So then you file that with USCIS and that'll take some time to be approved. And then once it's approved, the next step of the process is going to depend on, on a few different factors. So if your parent is already in the United States, sometimes they might be able to adjust their status in the United States. Um, and this is what everyone wants to do because it means the parent can stay in the United States. However, a lot of times this won't work. So if your parent entered lawfully, like on a visa or something, didn't overstay that visa, didn't accrue any unlawful presence, um, has never been convicted of a crime or anything like that, then they might be able to file for their green card while staying in the United States. But I always recommend that you talk to a lawyer to make sure that's the case. In a lot of other situations, the parent's going to have to consular process. So if your mom or dad is already outside of the United States, then you're consular processing. Many times, if your parent is already in the United States, but has some inadmissibility issues, they're going to have to consular process all the same. So consular processing means that the person leaves the country and then has to do an interview at the U.S. embassy or consulate, typically in their home country. So 100, 100%, you need to talk to a lawyer before doing this. And mention YouTube, call us, we'll give you half off your consultation. Um... But this is extremely important because there are certain situations that where leaving the country could actually trigger some type of bar and then your parent won't be able to get back into the country. So for example, if you've been in a country for more than six months without status, you could trigger a bar to re-entry when you leave, then you can't re-enter. If you've had multiple author excuse me, multiple entries without authorization, you can trigger something called the permanent bar by leaving the USA. So you want to be extremely careful doing this. Um, and in some cases, there might be a waiver. In some cases, there aren't. So you might decide that this route is not the correct path for you. So either way, the good news is that if you are 
a U.S. citizen who's 21 or older, you can sponsor your parent or your parents for their green card. You just need to speak to a lawyer to determine the steps of the process for your particular situation. One thing to note is if you, the child, the adult child, are in the military and your parent um, has these certain, uh, like entered without inspection, for example, there, there might be a process to help your parent be able to stay in the United States and adjust status. That's too complicated for this video, but just um, some quick takeaways. If you are over 21, a U.S. citizen, you did not get that citizenship through special immigrant juvenile status, um, then you can probably sponsor, speak to a lawyer. When you do that, if you are in the military, you should mention that. Hopefully this has been helpful. and. Um, my wish is that it will it will reunite some some parents of their adult children and i will talk to you next time